what is up peeps man it has been a while since i made a video i kind of miss it actually so we're gonna have a little change of pace get away from my normal schedule and uh get on some fish and uh you know some of the doc talk has been i can't catch no fish whether it's on a lake or pond or whatever or i just can't catch fish at all this fall transition has really messed me up and i have got the answer mm -hmm. i've got the answer you need two things, son. Dr. Pepper. Mmm. And a goddamn tube. But not just any tube. This has saved my fall fishing. If I wanted to go out and catch a bait, or catch a fish, I'm throwing that tube right there. This is a Kai Tech Salty Core tube. Let me pull out the package here. It's that guy right there. The 4.25 size? Four and a quarter, or whatever. Just a normal green pumpkin black flake. Oh my god. When I tell you this tube catches fish, man. Mm. I absolutely love this thing. But man, the unique thing about this bait is that it's literally solid. Look at that. It's not hollow at all. If I pull back all these appendages, that's a solid tube. So it weighs heavy. You can throw this on your medium heavy rods. Weightless. You don't need a... Uh, Put a bullet weight on there you don't need to peg a weight to it or nothing like that just go with it weightless and it it literally feels like it's maybe quarter ounce three eighths around that range so it's got some weight to it you can really fling this bait out there but uh man it still has that same nice twirling action on the way down when it falls and those fish eat it but my hook choice i like to upsize my hook this is a trocar weedless tube hook and um, typically I throw size threes with the four inches. I just feel like uh, I rip smaller holes in the fish. But with that larger body, I like a size four. I go with that size four hook. I just feel like it complements that bigger body well, and I don't lose fish on it. Even with those, you know, really, really sharp hooks. I mean, trocars are amazing. They're pricey hooks, but man, that hook point. Mm. It really sticks them good. They don't really move. Now, for the rod and the reel, y'all, it's just a Dobbins Fury, you know, 7.3. This is their uh, extra heavy rod. I do everything on this rod. And I've actually got it paired up with 30 pound braid to a 15 pound monofilament leader. And uh, I tie an FG knot for the, for the uh, connection knot. And then just a regular, uh, um, I can't think of that knot right now. But it's that real basic one everyone tries to crap on. What do I tie? An improved clinch knot. There we go. That knot is pretty nice. Now with this bait, you guys, I simply just like to toss it out there and get a nice soft entry like that. And I'm just gonna pop the rod once. The most important thing is let that bait fish itself. Let the cover fish the tube. Don't fish the tube. So I'm just letting it fall. Whatever it bumps into, that bait will glide away from it. Whatever it hits, that bait will either just stop or it will just sit there and slowly sink. So let the cover fish the bait. And since I imposed that mindset, it's like like nothing. I catch fish in big ones. I bring that tube to the surface, let it fall back down. And then pop it, bring that tube to the surface, and let it fall back down. And that bait right there is killer. That Kitek tube. They come super, super salted. And my only negative about this bait is that they're extremely salty. So if you got any kind of cuts on your hand, or if you have a, a, a bait that actually poked you and you had to pull a treble hook out, if that salt gets in that cut, you're gonna get a fuzzy feeling. And that fuzzy feeling ain't nice. So that's my only negative about it. But I mean, hey, it catches fish. I'll take the pain for the fish, mm -hmm. especially if it's a big one. Yeah, I am all for it. now. The reel, guys, which I haven't talked about, I talked about the rod, but the reel, I'm using a Daiwa STWS. This is a 103 version, and uh, it's a 8 to 1 gear ratio, and man, it's a workhorse reel. I love it, and it's got that T-wing system in it. Really, really nice. I love that, um, and this reel does a good job of bombing this little tube out there real easy. Man, with this bait, you're going to catch some fish use this around any kind of cover or grass lines what it really really excels in is wood i haven't been able to throw this bait in wood yet 
because my fish been on grass. But, man, if you're looking for bait that's going to get you through the fall and it's tough, pick up that tube, man. Uh, a lot of people overlook it, especially here in the south. That's going to get you some bites. So, with that being said, let's go fishing. All right, you guys. Uh, we're here at the pond. Literally only took a second for you guys. I'm kind of jealous, to be honest. It's got clear water. We're fishing about four to five feet of visibility, which sounds crazy. This place is filled with grass. I mean, there's grass everywhere. This is Salad City over here. The thing that's gonna make this video are these glasses, guys. This is Tactical Bassin's, um, you know, line of sunglasses with eye surrender. And this is their copper lens. And I tell you, man, I put these on and I can literally see where the grass starts um, in this pond. So I'm gonna be targeting that grass that's in this uh, water. And it's about seven feet away from the bank. So we're gonna be tossing this Kitech tube around here and I'm gonna be making specific casts at that grass. And remember, I'm just gonna let that bait fall. I'm only gonna give it about maybe one pull up and let that bait fish itself. You know, I don't like a lot of wind with this technique, but since it's pointed directly at us, it's not really pulling my line away from me. And I can control this bait pretty nicely, so I'm really happy about that. So I see this grass line that's kind of making a U, and I'm going to fish that horseshoe-looking line of grass. And uh, I can't really see fish. What I'm really seeing is color change. Wherever that color change is, guys, that's where that grass is. So we're going to keep fishing this area. Put our heads down, and uh, let's fish, man. I am eager, I tell you that. I'm eager. Maybe there's just one hiding back here somewhere. Hopefully just patrolling this grass line. I'm just going to throw these dark spots in the water. See if one comes out to eat it. That would be a real bonus. But I just love the action of this thing. How it just falls and it's so heavy you can just throw it on, you know, thicker braid. It's not a problem. You don't really need fluorocarbon I would prefer it but eh I do everything on this rod there's that dark spot there man I'm really hoping to get one here yeah there he is <laughs> right when I said that's oh that is a good fish yeah that's a good fish dude we might have oh whoa whoa oh my god oh my god that's a giant. Holy crap, that Kitek salty core tube, dude. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Don't jump. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God. Look at that chunk. Oh my, that just happened. That just happened. That just happened. Dude, that's a giant. Hey. Hey, I'ma let it go. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna do that. It's a game fish. Oh my god. Whoo! Yeah, I gotta let him go, let him grow. I'ma let him go and let him grow. Nah, bass. Yeah. Nice fish. Mmm. That's a freaking stud, man. Look at that fish. That's about the size of my personal best, man. Oh my god. That just happened. I'm shaking right now. That is a giant fish. That thing nice. Knife him, man. Hey, ooh. that's about a six pounder. Yeah, five and a half, six pounds. Yeah, but man, that's oh, a giant man. beauty. That thing's a beautiful animal right there. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Caught him on a tube. Yeah. yeah, that thing was ripping drag and everything. <laughs> but there, there's a lot of fish in here. Oh yeah, I know. 
I used to fish over here, but they quit biting. They're harder to catch now. Yeah, they quit biting, man, so that's why I stopped. Yeah. Yeah, and I ain't been fishing back over here since. They're starting to eat tubes a lot now over here. Huh? They're starting to eat tubes a lot now over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I might have stopped back fishing up that big. It look like that? Yeah. What's that? It's a tube. A tube? A tube. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a Kitek salty core tube. Yeah. Four uh point two five inch. Okay. So you get a regular green pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Size four trocar but, tube hook. Yeah, yeah. And that thing is set. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, it, man. There's uh some other fish in here. They're about two pounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's, it's a, a lot big, of one pounders in here. Some big fish in here, but they, like I said, they won't bite. Yeah. That's what it is. Cause a lot of times uh the turn. people feed those fish. Yeah. They feed the fish. That's, that's what happening because they throw bread and stuff on there and the fish will be sucking at it. Uh-huh. I mean, people be over here every day fishing. I mean, they're feeding the fish. Feeding those ducks. When they feed those ducks, I've they even throw had, that bread in there. I even had some swim up to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they think I'm giving them bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not throwing no bread. <laughs> you have a good one, though, man. All right, man. Let's try this area. There isn't so much wind back here, which I'm happy to see. Thank God, right? Because, man, I'm even my, my line is tired of it, but I'm going to make a big cast up there. <laughs> I entered way too hard, but that's okay. See if we can't get one right here. Oh! Did y'all see that? He that wasn't on my bait though. That was something else. Dad tells me we are in the right area. We are in the right area. Wow, that fish came. I don't know if that fish came out of the water. I think he just blew up. We're gonna fish around that area. That was a nice fish. Maybe four pounds. Or maybe I'm not giving that fish enough credit because that was loud. Look at this duck, they're really rolling up on me. Wow, I guess they want them some Kitek. That's a little weird right there. Just a little bit. Man, this is perfect. I'm liking the water conditions. I do wish it was a little bit clearer, but I'll make the most out of it. We'll fish this bait very cleanly. Got him! Got him, it's a good one. It's a good one. He's gonna throw it, don't throw it, don't throw it. Don't throw it. Yeah, it's a nice one. Wow. It's my first time seeing it. Any fish at all? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's my second one here today. Wow. You gonna slay it? No, nah, I let him go. Are you gonna let him go? Yeah. I fish here a lot, so I let him go. But yeah. It's a nice fish. It is. The other one I caught was a lot bigger. Yeah, look at that one, y'all. Pretty big. Wow. Nice fish. I just knew there was gonna be one in there. It had to be. Yeah, awesome. Let that guy go. I knew there had to be one in here somewhere. And there he goes. Fun fight telling you man this tube has saved me this fall that and the jerk bait these have been my prime lures prime pond fishing lures I mean, these things really really do really really do catch fish and this is that same tube guys i didn't change anything that was my second fish on it i mean yeah it's tore up from that big fish but 
that bait's still hanging on strong it's on the keeper nice and good what's there not to like about this bait you know these southern guys they overlook tubes and i don't know why and i say that as a southern dude man oh man guys thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and uh man i just want to say that you know i've been struggling lately on the ponds and uh I haven't been getting a ton of bites and uh i tell you man this tube has really saved me you probably heard that you know a million times during this video but it's the truth and it catches nice fish you know and the video proved it um you know the first fish we stuck got a nice five pounder and um you know later in the video where we saw that monster blow up man looking at that footage again it was probably another five um and it was so loud and he kicked water literally like you know 10 feet in the air it was so cool and that last fish was a bonus i really had to pick apart that little piece of dead milfoil or grass uh, whatever that was but yeah you guys i hope you learned something and i hope you try tubes out you know, if you're having trouble adjusting or your fish aren't biting, give it a shot. You know, I'm a firm believer in, you know, anglers, we have to adjust. That's how we catch fish. You know, they change day to day, sometimes hour to hour. And staying on top of them can be difficult. But, uh, you know, having a new presentation that they haven't seen before, it really does help. So, you guys, I hope you're catching fish. I hope you're adjusting to your conditions. And, um, yeah, man, good luck out there. And uh, I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one. But until then, until then, I'm heading out. Peace, guys.